Hello, hello, Sarah of S.E.K. Handmade here, and today I want to share with you how to complete the Tunisian full stitch. Now, if you are brand new to Tunisian crochet, you're going to want to go back and you're going to want to watch two of my other videos, how to set up your Tunisian crochet and how to complete a return pass. Because before you start in on your full stitch, you're going to need to set up and you're going to need to complete a return pass. Once you have done that, you're ready to learn the Tunisian full stitch. Now, the Tunisian full stitch gives a super cool texture to your Tunisian crochet, but when I very first started Tunisian crochet, the full stitch took a lot of focus. <laughs> but that's okay. It's great to be focused on something when we're doing something brand new. So let's take a look at our stitches here. This edge is technically your first stitch, all right? Then you've got your second stitch and all of your other stitches are those long bars until you get to the end and then this is technically your last stitch. For the Tunisian full stitch, you're gonna be going through the entire fabric from front to back in between your stitches. So you're going to start by sticking your hook between the first and second stitches all the way from front to back of your fabric. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop and I think when I think of full stitch, I think of going in front of or behind starting with the second stitch. So I went in front of my second stitch and so I'm gonna think to myself, I'm gonna go in front of my third stitch, I'm gonna go in front of my fourth stitch, remember we're going all the way through the fabric, grabbing a loop and pulling it up. I'm going to go in front of my fifth stitch and then I'm going to go through the V at the end. So see there's a space between my fifth stitch and my V at the end and I'm going to skip over that one for this first pass. Tunisian full stitch is actually worked in two rows to get the full effect. So I have, I've gone in front of my second, third, fourth, and fifth stitch, and then into my end stitch, and now I'm going to complete a return pass. Remember, for a return pass, we're going to yarn over, pull through just the first stitch, then you're going to yarn over and pull through two stitches all the way back. So yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, pull through two. Now, if you talk to yourself like that, when you start off, I am in full support. <laughs> I talk to myself in my head all the time when I crochet. So now we have gone, you can see, in front of my second stitch. Now I'm going to go behind. So this is my first stitch, the edge, and this is my second stitch, and I'm going to go behind my second stitch and pull up a loop. Then I'm going to go behind my third stitch and pull up a loop, behind my fourth stitch, pull up a loop, behind my fifth stitch and pull up a loop, and now I'm at the end. I'm going to go through my last, the edge of my work for my last stitch, and I, again, Sometimes it's good to count your stitches and make sure you still have them all. Two, four, six stitches are what I was working with. And then to complete the row, just like any other row, you're going to do a return pass. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Or pull through two, sorry. Always going through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Whoops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now, when I very first started doing full stitch, I really struggled with, once I set my work down, where was I at? Was I going in front of my stitches or behind my stitches? And that can definitely be a challenge. So I've worked up a larger swatch here so that I can show you, hopefully, <laughs> 
a closer look at the fabric so that you can tell whether you're going to go in front of your stitches or behind your stitches. All right. Now, if you look carefully, you can see this is my first stitch from my row below, and I went behind it. So for this next row, I'm going to go in front. The other thing is, when you kind of stretch your stitches out here, there's a decent gap between your first stitch and your second stitch there, and that indicates to me that I went behind. That's what made that bigger gap. I went behind in the last row, so I'm going to go in front. So I'm going to go in front of my second stitch, pull up a loop, in front of my third stitch, pull up a loop, in front of my fourth stitch, pull up a loop, in front of my fifth stitch, and remember I'm not going to go behind my fifth stitch because I'm going in front. I'm going to find my V on the side of my fabric pull up my last stitch there. And I'm still working with six stitches, so I got two, four, six stitches. Then I'm gonna do my return pass, and I wanna show you what it looks like after you've gone through, whoops. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> In front of, and through the end. Pull up a loop. All right, return pass, yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 Okay, now we know, because we just did it, that we went in front of the first stitch on our last row. And so if you look at the row below, you can see we were in front of it. The other thing is, if you pull up your stitches, look at how close my first and second stitch are to each other. That is because we went in front. And so we know, since those are so close together, and because we can see last row we went in front, we're gonna go behind for this row. So behind my second stitch, pull up a loop, behind my third stitch, pull up a loop, behind my fourth stitch, pull up a loop, behind my fifth stitch, pull up a loop, and then through the edge of my fabric to pull my last loop. And there you go. That is how you crochet the Tunisian full stitch. Instructions on the Tunisian full stitch are in the description below. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips and tutorials, and be sure to check out my other Tunisian crochet tutorial videos. Happy crafting!